Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video real quick, and then Raising Cain in Season 3, Episode 9, let's talk about it. So what I want to talk about is the interaction that Marvin and Gerald had at the hospital. When I tell you that this was some great ass acting, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, just the fact like, you know, Marvin really been trying to help Gerald and help him get clean, involve himself with his daughters as well, trying to repair his relationship with his. It's just one of those things that hit you hard when you have been through betrayal, when you have been confined to seeing a snake right in front of you. So just the um, fact that he poured those emotions out, just a sense of I can't believe you did this to me, you know, like all that I've done and just really, you know, trying to be a good friend because them junkies would have killed them and you would have think that Gerald would have been appreciative, but the whole time he was only thinking about himself and this whole time he tries to cop out and say that they was going to take my family and and ruin me or kill me, but just the fact how it just makes you wonder if when Marvin found them at that motel room and had to pay the dealers the money, were they really dealers or was it a setup by the FBI? But Marvin didn't have to do that, but Marvin apparently have a soft spot for anyone that was in the anger management class this with him. So it just can be very um troubling when you know you take a liking to somebody and you want to be there because you see yourself through them. Because Marvin used to be a junkie. So he understands the road to recovery isn't easy and everybody who's on drugs isn't a bad person just needs a second chance at life but my opinion is I think Marvin got too close to him I feel like after he took him home that night he should have just left it alone but he was really trying to give him a chance because of his past. I always tell people that you got to stop expecting you out of other people because it's dangerous when you do that because everybody doesn't move like you. Everybody don't have them same code of ethics, morality, the whole nine. So you have to be really careful with that. But just the fact like you see the tears in his eyes when he told him you ain't shit Woo! <laughs> that was oh that was deep and i tell you that it was so deep but yeah you know i don't blame marvin because that shit hurts man you know when you take on a friendship with someone and they cross you like that to say it themselves. It's just heartbreaking. And it makes you don't want to trust ever again. It makes you don't want to get close to people ever again. So I just advise everybody to be careful with the company you keep. Because you never know the company that they keep as well. But that's the end of this video, guys. 
like, comment, subscribe for more Raising Canaan videos. I'm going to drop some more heat for you guys because next week is episode 10, the season finale. So 